you look a lot like your dad. People tell you that Thank all the time, you. They, I'm sure. Thank you. Various fractions of both of my parents, yeah. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celebs you didn't know were nepotism babies. Was acting something that you thought from the from infancy, like, yes, this is something? Yes, from a very young age. I, I loved it. I gravitated towards it. For this list, we're looking at some stars with a celebrity pedigree who you might not have connected with their famous family. Which celebrity kids do you think outshine their connections? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Zoe Deutsch Zoe Deutsch first hit our screens on the Disney Channel's The Sweet Life on Deck as Zach Martin's girlfriend and made her big breakthrough as the lead in the 2014 Vampire Academy. Listen, comrade, to get to her, you're gonna have to go through me. She has since starred in Ed Sheeran's perfect music video and movies such as the Netflix rom-com Set It Up and the horror sequel Zombieland Double Tap. We actually set up camp like down the road, like at the White House. Um, uh -uh. The White House? Oh my God. Would you want to come and like hang out? I would love that. <laughs> cool. As it turns out, Deutsch does have some industry connections. Her dad is Pretty in Pink director Howard Deutsch, and her mother is Back to the Future actress Leah Thompson. Zoe's older sister Madeline is also an actress. The dramedy The Year of Spectacular Men was a real family affair, directed by Thompson, produced by Zoe and Howard, and starring both sisters with a screenplay and film score by Madeline. All of y'all had a huge part in this film. Yes. What was that like to work together? It was amazing. I mean, I think my greatest accomplishment is are these two. Number 9. Wyatt Russell you might recognize Wyatt Russell as John Walker from the Disney Plus series The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, or perhaps as the lead from the playtest episode of Black Mirror. I mean, is that what you're doing on this trip? You like finding yourself? Yeah, um, in a way. I mean his career may be on the upswing, but he's not yet reached the heights of his famous family. Russell is the son of Hollywood actors Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn. Now you want me to remodel your closet? Isn't that what I've been explaining in some detail? Is English your second language? Incidentally, Kate and Oliver Hudson are his half-siblings. Even his grandfather, Bing Russell, was an actor, appearing in films such as The Magnificent Seven. Objects to what? They say he isn't fit to be buried there. What? In Boot Hill? Why, there's nothing up there but murderers, cutthroats, and derelict old barflies. Wyatt was actually a professional ice hockey player until 2010, when he was forced to retire due to injuries. In need of a new career path, Russell finally decided to follow in his family's footsteps. Number 8. Margaret Qualley Margaret Qualley recently earned Golden Globe and Emmy nominations for her starring role in Netflix's Made. Are you currently under the influence of any drugs or alcohol? No. Are you sure? Because you look strung out. Nope. We slept in the car last night, so... She's previously starred in the HBO show The Leftovers, in addition to movies such as Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Quali originally trained as a ballerina and later became a model. When visiting an actor boyfriend on the set of Palo Alto, she was snapped up for a small role, and the rest is history. Don't blame yourself. Okay. All right. I'll see you next week. What you may not have realized is that Qualley is actually the daughter of actress Andy McDowell, star of movies such as Groundhog Day and Four Weddings and a Funeral. Hi. 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 I thought you'd gone. No, not yet. I was just wondering where you're staying tonight. Qualley's sister Rainey is also an actress and musician, sometimes known by the stage name Rainsford. Number 7. Lily Collins Nowadays, American British actress Lily Collins is probably more easily recognizable than her famous father. If you didn't know already, the Emily in Paris star is the daughter of English musician Phil Collins. Lily's dad was the drummer in the rock band Genesis and went on to be one of the most successful UK solo artists of the 80s. has an Oscar for Best Original Song, which he won for Tarzan's You'll Be In My Heart. Lily sings too, and although Phil no longer treads the boards, it's possible his daughter caught the acting bug from her dad. After all, he did star as the artful Dodger in the West End when he was 13. Seems it runs in the family. 
Number 6. Riley Keough Elvis Presley remains one of the most beloved stars of all time, and although he was gone far too soon, it's nice to see that he's passed down some of his talents. Well, there's a leak in this old building. Riley Keough had her first film role in the movie biopic The Runaways when she was 20 years old. She's sung on screen in 2017's We Don't Belong Here, and will soon appear as the title character in a TV adaptation of Daisy Jones and the Six, which follows a 1970s rock band. She was also nominated for a Golden Globe for her role in The Girlfriend Experience and won a Caméra d'Or award with her directorial debut, War Pony. So, this is all the material that you're going to need to know for your quiz on Thursday. Those of you that don't have your notebooks and pencils out, you probably want to get them out. At this point, you might not even connect her with her famous grandfather. Number 5. Jack Quaid Although Jack Quaid had a small role as a tribute in The Hunger Games, his big break came when he was cast as Huey Campbell in the Amazon series The Boys. Hi, I'd like to make an appointment for you to come over and lay some cable. Okay, uh, oh Robin. Oh dear, dear Robin. Um, that mm -hmm. doesn't mean what you think it means. You might also recognize him from the 2022 Scream reboot. Quaid is yet another up-and-coming actor with two famous parents. We think he bears a strong resemblance to his dad, Dennis, who played the twins' father in The Parent Trap. So, what's up, Dad? I mean, how's Jesse and everybody? Great, everybody's great. Can't wait to see you. Eight weeks really is too long, Hal. Jack's mom is also none other than rom-com queen Meg Ryan, star of You've Got Mail and When Harry Met Sally. You don't think that I can tell a difference? No. Jack's uncle, Randy Quaid, is also an actor, with a plethora of accolades to his name. Number 4. Mariska Hargitay Mariska Hargitay made her name in the 80s and 90s, but is probably best known as Olivia Benson in Law & Order Special Victims Unit, which has been on our screen since 1999. Come on, miss, you're badgering my client. It's detective, not miss. And we're not in court, counselor. We're in my house. Why don't you save your lawyering for somebody who gives a damn? But did you know that her mother was also an actress? Jane Mansfield was 20th Century Fox's answer to Marilyn Monroe and one of the blonde bombshells of the 50s and 60s. Did you really? Can you doubt the word of a traveling salesman? I was only kidding, sweetie. She won a Golden Globe for Well Success Spoil Rock Hunter in 1957, but is more often associated with her glamorous image and well publicized personal life. She died in a car crash at the age of 34. Hargate, then three years old, and her two brothers were also in the crash, but escaped with only minor injuries. She was just amazing. Her mother is never far away from her. A picture of her sits on her desk on the set, and she credits her success to the memory of her mom and to her father, Mickey Hargate. Number three, Maya Rudolph. Maya Rudolph kickstarted her career on SNL. You've been golfing all day and leaving before dinner. Go to see a pebble beach. <laughs> Be a real swinger with this. It's a nice matching golf club by Golf Club Guy. Four. Her most famous film role is probably Lillian in Bridesmaids, but she's also done extensive voice acting and won three primetime Emmy nominations for her role in The Good Place. Oh my God, you guys are bad. Which one is the worst one of you? Is it you, Glasses? Oh, I bet it's you. You may not know the identity of Rudolph's famous mother, who died when she was seven years old, but chances are you'll have heard her voice. The actress is the daughter of singer Minnie Ripperton, best known for the 1975 single Lovin' You. La, la, la. Do, 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 do. Ripperton's trademark high notes are legendary. She had a four octave vocal range, stretching from D3 to F sharp 7. Reportedly, the melody for Lovin' You was written as a distraction for Baby Maya, and her name can be heard at the end of the unedited track. I knew that she was different in that special kind of way because I saw the way people responded to her. Number two, Nicolas Cage. Did you know that Nicolas Cage's real name is Nicolas Coppola? Help! 
The Oscar-winning actor may have won acclaim in his own right, but he's also the nephew of Francis Ford Coppola, the acclaimed director of The Godfather and Apocalypse Now. At the age of 15, Cage badgered his uncle to give him a screen test, but Coppola wouldn't play ball. Nevertheless, the actor changed his name so that any future achievements wouldn't be connected with his uncle. Cage's first cousins include Princess Diaries actor Robert Schwartzman, his actor brother Jason Schwartzman, and award-winning screenwriter and director Sofia Coppola. Keep your eye out for it. That's right. And for me? From now on. I missed you all this time. I miss you too, cousin. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Louisa Jacobson The Gilded Age is a recent period drama from the creator of Downton Abbey. The show is set in New York in the 1880s and features a young cast of mostly unknowns. You see, Mr. Rakes, none of this is what my father told me. So I gathered. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. Louisa Jacobson plays Marion, one of the main characters in the first season. However, it's likely she'll feel more at home in the acting world than Marion does in New York society. Jacobson is actually the youngest of Meryl Streep's four children. Sure. No, no. That wasn't a question. Her older sisters, Mamie and Grace Gummer, are also actresses, working in both TV and the theater world. Jacobson graduated from the Yale School of Drama and has done some stage work, but The Gilded Age is her television debut. I believe you. But love is not always enough. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.